Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Price with Action Potential Mentoring. I'm currently in vascular surgery and I'm here to help you prepare for the USMLE and become the best version of yourself. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna jump into a little bit of content and what I want you to do is drop me a comment down below if you feel this is helpful and we're gonna help take off your performance and you're gonna be at a whole nother level a week from now. Is A-L-A-S, this stands for ALA synthase. Okay, so if you have an ALA synthase deficiency or defect, you can get sideroblastic anemia. Okay, and so the most common way that you get this, and this is a question off my complex, is you can actually get this ALS deficiency from alcohol. So it can actually reversibly inhibit ALAS. All right, so I think the A for ALAS stands for A for alcohol induced. All right, so definitely keep that in the back of your mind. All right, so the funny thing is, is uh, the last S, so I'm going to add this, uh, this lead's poisoning mnemonic, L-E-A-D-S. So we said the S stood for stippling and succimer. I want to also say that the S stands for sideroblasts. So lead poisoning can actually cause sideroblastic anemia. Okay, so that's kind of interesting that lead poisoning itself can cause sideroblastic anemia. All right, so uh, the next way that I want to mention that you can get sideroblastic anemia is you can get it from something called isoniazid. So I-N-H is isoniazid's abbreviation. So what is isoniazid? This is the I in RIPE therapy. So if you remember your tuberculosis treatments, I-N-H, that stands for isoniazid. So what are the side effects of isoniazid? So the N in the abbreviation stands for neuropathic symptoms, and then the H is going to stand for hepatitis. So you can basically use the abbreviation for the, the medication as the mnemonic for figuring out what is actually going on. Okay, so isoniazid can cause neuropathic symptoms uh, such as peripheral neuropathies as well as hepatitis. So it can cause an elevation in your AST and ALT, which are the enzymes inside of your liver that get aggravated when you have hepatitis. Okay. And now you know that the INH can also cause sideroblastic anemia. So that's super, super high yield because they'll ask you about a question. Somebody comes in, they're throwing up blood. They sound like they got tuberculosis. They've lost like 30 pounds in the last year and they have shortness of breath. And now they have anemia. So why do they have the anemia? The anemia is because they have tuberculosis and they're getting treated with ripe therapy which includes isoniazid and now they have sideroblastic anemia okay so how does anemia present just in general so that's usually somebody with fatigue somebody that's really pale in the face looking uh somebody's uh if you look at their inner eyelid that's actually really pale oftentimes too so that's one of the first things that i look at on a patient is i pull down their eyelid and i look to see is there a conjunctiva pale uh, if it's pale, then you might be thinking um, some kind of a microcytic anemia. Uh, and they're also going to have dyspnea because they're going to be short of breath. So think about why they'd be short of breath. Because the whole role of a red blood cell is to basically carry oxygen where it needs to go. So if you don't have enough red blood cells, so go back to the top here, you got low hemoglobin, right? So we say, say somebody has 7 to 12 hemoglobin then they're not delivering enough oxygen, so they're going to get dyspnea, which is difficulty breathing. So that's how you can start tying these clinical presentations together when you understand the physiology. Thank you guys so much for joining today. If you found that was helpful, find me on Instagram at Action Potential Mentoring and shoot me a DM saying what your favorite part of today's lesson was. If you have any questions or you'd like some personalized one-on-one -on -one assistance with preparing for the USMLE, learning what it takes to become a stellar applicant and matching it to your dream specialty, DM me the words VIP Mastermind. Again, that's VIP Mastermind. Talk to you soon.